So last night, um, we had a pretty stressful night. Um, it was kind of a rough experience and definitely unexpected. So what actually happened was we lost one of our pigs to a predator. And it was definitely scary and definitely humbling and made me rethink our operation a little bit. So what happened was I came out probably around five o'clock to do evening chores. Me and my daughter went over to the pig pen. We were feeding the pigs and I noticed that Donald, our butcher pig, was missing. So I looked around the barn and I looked around the fences and I couldn't really see anywhere that he had dug out. And then I noticed um, that one of the pieces of plywood on the fence that we had been using as a windbreak for his shelter was on the ground, which was odd. So I went to looking a little bit more and I noticed, hmm, there's quite a bit of blood around here. And then I noticed there was a blood trail leading down into the bush. So immediately I thought, oh dear, a predator has got my pig. But it was just amazing because the fence was still intact. And really, if you didn't look closely, you may not have noticed that there was signs of a struggle with this pig. Then I looked a little closer and it looks like there's blood on top of the... So we have like a pallet pen that we've made for weaning. But there was blood on top of one of the pallets. So he must have went in the pen and took the pig out over top and then drug him into the bush. So it was kind of a stupid thing to do, but I actually followed the blood trail a little ways because I wanted to see what kind of animal had took my pig. And... I found a track and I couldn't quite tell if it was a cougar or a bear, but it was big. So at that point I was like, mm, probably should turn around. And I'm glad I did because when my husband came home from work, he said the bear actually wasn't much farther down from where I had stopped. So yeah, that was a, a silly thing to do without a weapon for sure. But anyways, so my husband got home, he brought the neighbor with him and they both went and tracked the bear down. Well, actually, we didn't really know what we were dealing with at that point. If it was a bear or a cougar, we knew it was a large predator. That's all. So they found out it was a bear. The dog, our dog Waylon, was barking at the bear. And they were fairly close up to it. And it, I guess, did not care that they were there. It was completely unfazed. And it was going to guard its kill. So my husband took a shot at it. Um, it wasn't a fatal shot. It was enough to scare him. And he ran away. So then my husband was searching for him because obviously he wanted to finish the job and he was up in a tree. So he ended up shooting him out of the tree and killing him. Then we went down later in the afternoon to go skin him or later in the evening, sorry, to go skin him and deal with the carcass and um, deal with our pig's carcass as well. So we were up fairly late doing that. Um, but yeah. That was our evening. Pretty sad, I guess, that my butcher pig died. Not because, I mean, I guess partially because now we don't, we didn't have meat for a freezer for our own family, but also because he was just a really special little guy. He was super friendly. Like Stella could go in there by himself and give him belly rubs and he would just lay right down and let her do that. Like he was a big pet and he was just a super nice chill pig. And yeah, we really liked him. So it's sad to lose him, and I'm also really sad that he had to go that way. I think that's probably the hardest thing for me, is knowing that he lost his life in a way that had a lot of fear, a lot of stress, um, before he died. Like, I would never ever wish that on an animal to die in that way, like, basically be eaten alive, like, and be completely helpless in his pen, having this huge predator come and just, like kill him like what a terrible terrible way to go so yeah and now I will definitely be being more careful realizing that um predators will come during the day and sometimes they are brave especially bears after hibernating all winter I didn't even I just didn't even think this would happen like my pig was not super small he was three months old like he was a good 80 to 100 pounds and yeah and I'm very surprised that the dogs didn't even make any commotion nobody barked like there was no reason for me to think something was wrong I just came out 
in the evening and my pig was gone. And another thing too, like, this bear was there only minutes before we came outside. Like, what if we had come out earlier and the bear was there and we didn't see him until it was too late and I had my, my daughter with me, she's just little. Just like things go through your head thinking about all the what ifs, I guess, but yeah. Definitely will be taking more precautions. Definitely will be reevaluating our containment system for the dogs. Clearly this rotating the dogs thing isn't gonna work with the predator load that we have here. And I kind of already knew that, but um, it is what it is. So hopefully we can get that sorted out sometime soon here and prevent this from happening in the future. But anyways, thanks for listening to my rant. Um, Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are taking good care of yourselves and staying safe. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. So we had a bit of a casualty today. We uh, lost Donald, our butcher pig, to a bear. He climbed right over top of the fence and took him and drug him to the river. And yeah, so that's crappy. So we're in the bush right now. My husband tracked him down and shot him. So this is where he was shot the first time. Come here. That's Come here. where he was shot. And there he is.